welcome. So I am starting a YouTube channel because, um, first off, I already have a YouTube channel, um, but it's not journaling or anything um, vintage related. I do, um, I'm an entrepreneur, so I have my own kind of like vlogs and stuff on my day-to-day -day life, but this is usually um, things I do in the evening, so wanted to do a separate channel for this, so it doesn't really clash, and I'm excited for my very first video. My name is Holly, and I'm so excited to share with you um, my journaling life, so let's get started! So today's video is super fun. I'll be sharing with you my pen case. My very first video, I was thought I was going to share like the planners or the journals that I use, but I'm still waiting for one journal to come for um, one book of July, and I'll share that later on this month, so that's super exciting. Um, so today I'll be sharing you my pen case. So the pen case I have here is from Milu, I believe it's called. Um, it is... Um, a brand from I believe um, overseas but you're able to purchase them in shops such as um, Tokyo pen shop I believe it's called I'll link it down below so you can go find um, them out and I'll try to link as much of the stuff I have as I possibly can so this pen usually or this pen case just sits right here um, I usually journal in this area um, uh, so I just grab things that I need. I love how it opens really widely like this and I can just grab things or look for things that I need really quick. These are things that I normally carry. I do have, um, what do you call, kind of like pen holder right here. Um, that I do have like brushes that I have and other things but this is stuff that I normally would need for journaling and if I ever need to bring things out I can just grab this whole thing and go and yeah so the first thing I want to talk about is the very first new pen that I got this is a Lamy pen I got this um, on a sale so I purchased this um, recently it has been really lovely I, um, the only thing is it's in blue ink right now which I Normally love black ink, but I've been loving the different kind of colors that I've been recently kind of like exposed to. Um, so I've been loving using this to write letters, letters with. So yeah. Some other things I have are um, black pens. These are what I use when I am um, doing watercolor work. So for example, if I am um, doing watercolor, I would like to write before I start painting in them. So I have um, these in different sizes. So this one is 003, I have a 01, and I believe I have a 02 lying around somewhere. Oh, it's right here. I didn't put it back yet. 02 right here. I have a glue stick. These are from um, sort of like Daiso, which is like a ja little Japanese store um, called Omomo. Um, I love these kind of glue sticks because they're made in um, Japan or Korea and these work really, really well. I have some brush pens in here. So these are mild liners. I have two in here. Can't seem to find other one, but I have this um, brown one and I have an orange one. And it's basically kind of like the highlighters, but they have it in a brush form. I have this here. This is, I believe, um, a glue tape. I'm not sure why I have this in here because I already have one that is a much smaller and perfect, more compact. Um, but if I run out, I can always use this one. And these are something that I love sharing and you guys have been or my followers are really interested in these things. These are called Mako's. So what you do is you take your favorite roll of washi and you kind of wrap them in these little barrels and then you can fit them in here and you'll have different um, washies you can use and these are perfect for traveling because um, you don't have to bring a whole washi tape with you and you just have these with you. I have a Tombow glue pen. I don't really use this this often, but it's there if I ever need it. I have two rulers here. I would keep one. I'd probably keep a plastic one because it's not as um, heavy, but I do have a metal one if I ever need it. And I love how this metal ruler has been aging and it looks really nice now. So nice and vintage looking. I have a Coco Eero pen, which is a lettered pen brush pen there's different types you can buy and refill and I have it in this gray container and I believe the one I have in here is more of a hard tip because I feel like hard tip is a little bit better for me 
And speaking of brush pens, these are also one of the my favorite brush pens to use. It's the Tombow one. Um, I don't know how to name this because it's in a really um, interesting name, but I'll make sure to link everything that I mentioned in order down below. Um, there's a soft version and a hard version. They both seem pretty similar to me, but I think I like the hard version, which is the blue one more, but um, I can also use this one too. Then I have some more pens. So um, I first got this pen. It's called the Platinum Preppy Pen. So this is the first fountain pen that I got. And it's black and I really enjoy it, so that's why I got the Lamy right after. And I also have... Um, a Kubico, which is just a normal ballpoint or is like a gel style ballpoint pen. I used this um, before I got fountain pen, but then fountain pen, I'm still trying to learn how to um, write with them because it's a little bit different than writing with a normal pen. So I found the second um, brush pen that I had from Mild Liner. I also have a pencil because you always need a pencil for sketching or whatever. And I also have an eraser, which is super cute. I have this really small one. I have this clip, so if I ever decide to bring a full washi tape, I can clip it to um, rip it really easily. This is just a tool to use. I'm not sure where I got this, but I'll try to link it down below. Another thing I have is a razor. This one's really small. It's from like a small Japanese store, either Daiso or Momo. Um, it's just easy to cut things if I need to. And then one more thing I have is this super cute, um, I believe this is a Pilot Friction Snap that I got a while ago. Um, I believe it was a freebie from an order and it just says, um, it just has like a little suitcase. And then last but not least are my favorite gel pens. Um, Sarasa has always been my favorite and I love these vintage colors. I have um, the vintage one in the pink, which is um, in the red on the bottom, which is like a wine color. And then I recently purchased the grand one, which I really, really enjoy. I've been, I'm using the black one right now and I really, really like these ones. They are a little pricey, but they're definitely worth it and they're super heavy and they write really really well um but then obviously the normal ones work perfectly fine also but that's totally up to you and that's basically it i do have a lot of things in here and now that i can clean it up i can um take some stuff out that i feel like i don't use that often and keep the very very important things in here so yeah thank you for watching